Today's test is an attempt to show how the Mevo appreciates light, light on the subject. Uh, in this test today, I am outdoors. It's a cloudy, overcast day, and that's a good time to show how much the Mevo appreciates having light cast on a subject. Now, uh, unfortunately, this is not a sound test. I am uh, about 100 yards from a farm road that gets a lot of traffic, so you'll get to hear that in the background. But I'll test the Mevo start. We'll see if we can't get that... Uh, that light difference, light how it uh, how it helps the, the the video. This is fully zoomed out, it's recorded at 1080p. Uh, I will zoom in to the default maximum um, on the Mevo Start. The default maximum is 2.3. So we'll get to see how it treats that that default zoom in in a, an overcast outdoor situation. Now I am under an awning. It's about an eight foot awning. I'm closer to the wall here. You see the Mevo is. Is, uh, is on a, a mic stand uh, just at the edge of the awning. It's also underneath uh, within that eight foot. So it's about six foot from me, which is an, an appropriate distance to, uh, to, con to record from. My adjustment settings are uh, outdoors. I've chosen the, the outdoor setting. I've dropped the saturation by one tenth. The, the default saturation point for, an out for the outdoor setting is 1.3. I've dropped it to 1.2. 1.3 was just a little bit too red. So, so I dropped a little bit. Everything else is left as default. All of those other settings are, are what they would be controlled by the Mevo app itself. So, uh, so there's uh, the zoom out. Here's the zoom in at, at uh, 2.3, the default zoom in for the Mevo start. Hopefully you can see the, the clarity that we get in, a, in an outdoor setting where it's an, an overcast day. Um, I did choose in those adjustment settings, hang on, let me see, I, I did choose uh, my white balance to be cloudy. That's one other change that I did make. So uh, my adjustment settings show that I have chosen the outdoors preset. I've dropped the, the saturation level from 1.3, the default, to 1.2. That's one-tenth of a, of, a, of a point drop to take some of the redness out. And I've chosen the white balance to be cloudy instead of auto. So when we switch over to the Mevo Plus, also recording at 1080p, also with all the same settings in our, in our adjustments, I've chosen the outdoor setting. I've pulled the saturation back from 1.3 to 1.2, and I've chosen the white balance to be cloudy, because once again, we're a cloudy day outdoors under an awning. Um, you can see the way the Mevo Plus handles light. Uh, both of them appreciate light. Uh, they were, I guess, really, uh, they were really developed to be a, uh, an interview or video blogging kind of, uh, kind of uh, piece of equipment in that you would be doing things in a controlled setting. A lot of folks use them for concerts where things are dark, but there's a, a spot on the stage, and, and man, I, I would imagine they struggle with light. Uh, a lot of folks use them, like I do, in a, uh, in a church service for streaming a stage full of folks who are leading worship or, or a pastor who's, who's giving a message. Imagine that what the, the, the amount of light you have to throw on the, on the target is more than what live people in person really can appreciate. Uh, you really have to light up what you are, what you're, what you're shooting. So uh, let me go ahead and zoom there. Oh, hey, look at that. That uh, that's the three X zoom. That's the default. Uh, when you tap on the screen, going to get that much zoom. And so that's how uh, the the Mevo Plus looks. Recorded at 1080p, zoomed into its default three times. Uh, def def default three X. Uh, this is um, this is just a test to see how that video looks uh, whenever you put light on it. And then going back to the Mevo Start to, uh, to show how it treats uh, you know a, a little more light because I'm out from under the awning. Uh, again, an overcast day. You can see the clouds, you know, the overcast sky behind me. Uh, you can see kind of how the, the greens play into the shirt that I'm wearing. All these pieces are things to consider whenever you're adjusting your shot, uh, especially if you're live streaming. If you're recording, there's, there's time to do some stuff post-processing. But if, if you're live streaming something and you need, you need that shot to be as good as possible, one, you want to you light it. You want to make sure there's plenty of light shown cast on your on your subject but you also want to make sure you're using those adjustment settings in the Mevo app. So here's zoomed out. 
Here's zoom to the 2.3x default maximum on the Mevo Start. This is recorded at 1080p, and now we're zoomed in at 2.3x on the Mevo Start. Uh, settings are still uh, an outdoor shot with the saturation pulled down to 1.2 as opposed to the default 1.3, and I've chosen the white balance to be cloudy because, of course, it is an overcast day. Leaving the cover of the awning, uh, where you get just a little bit of a of a, a, a darker up top and lighter at bottom because of it's a cloudy day, uh, and putting uh, nature behind you. You've got the the overcast sky above me and behind me. You've got you know grass and trees and that highway going by uh, at at, at, uh, at shoulder or eye level going behind me. Um, you can see how that then also changes light. Now I've kept all my settings the same. All those settings are adjustable. Uh, and so you can tweak this to make it look better. Um, you can choose backlit. That is a choice. And it tries to find, you know, the best there. Um, you can choose to go, of course, I'll go back to outdoors because that's really where I think um, we need to be. Drop that still back down to 1.2 so it's consistent. But uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the settings in the Mevo app are, are robust. You, there's a lot of choice that you have. And so you can just see the difference. I'll go ahead and zoom in one more time. I'm terrible at, at, at catching a shoulder shot there uh, when, I, when I tap on that. But you can, you can see the difference. You can see what it looks like zoomed out, zoomed in, and how much the Mevo appreciates because there's such better clarity when there's a lot of light. Uh, you may have looked at one of my other videos and seen that in a, in a dimmer setting, there's a lot of graininess, to the, to, especially to the zoom in shot. So uh, here's the Mevo Plus zoomed in at 3.0x. Uh, uh, that's the default zoom that it, uh, that it throws to whenever you zoom in just by tapping on the screen. One last shot with the Mevo Start and then the Mevo Plus just to show how the background and the lighting changes things. You notice that my shirt is completely, almost completely washed out, that there's an incredible uh, glare off the top of my head, which, you know, uh, you're bald, you get that. But, um, but the, all the settings being the same, I, I've not changed the, the, the adjustments at all. I still have uh, outdoor as my setting. I still have cloudy as my white balance. I still have the, uh, the saturation pulled down that one tenth from 1.3 to 1.2. And you can see how just moving, I'm, I've, I've moved six feet. I've just changed the direction of the camera to face this wall instead of facing the highway or facing the one that's under the awning. Um, I'm, I'm still right here in the same little corner of our property. And, and you can see how, how vastly different your camera shot looks. And so these settings need to be adjusted. Now, I'll do a video in the future where we, we actually walk through adjusting each of those settings and seeing what they look like. Uh, but for today, I just wanted to, 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 to give this comparison of, of what it looks like to, uh, to see more light cast on a subject by, by filming or by recording outside on a cloudy day. Uh, you do notice that when I zoomed in there, that's the on the Mevo Start, to, uh, zoomed into the default 2.3, you notice that it did adjust and it appreciated being zoomed in a little bit. So apparently some of the, the, the lighter uh, siding in the, in the peripheral of, of, this, uh, of this shot was giving me a, a little bit of a washout. So uh, even zooming in sometimes helps, but, but man, use those adjustments that are built into the app because they are your friend. So the final shot today, still no changes made in any of the settings. I am continuing to stay with, uh, with my adjustments being set on outdoor, pulling the saturation from 1.3 to 1.2, and I have my, uh, my white balance set at cloudy uh, because it's an overcast day. I've put myself in front of this wall. Uh, the Mevo Plus is what we're recording through at 1080p, and now I'll show the, uh, the zoom in and how it makes the adjustment for zooming. Uh, you see the, the colors actually change in my face and on my head and my shirt as the camera uh, makes the adjustments based on the zoom, the, the 3.0x 3, 3 default zoom that the Mevo has built in, the Mevo Plus has built into it.